y'all I'm Ashley from adorably shabby welcome to my channel today I have a really exciting video for you guys um, I'm gonna show you guys some DIY items that you guys can make for very little money these are perfect if you want to just decorate your house if you want to give a gift but don't have a lot of money to put into it and you want it to look high-end or maybe you're wanting to DIY some things to sell and make money. This is the video for you guys. You all can do these and I'm gonna tell you how you can. So let's go on inside and get started. So this first DIY is really a great one because it really has a lot of value. It only cost me $5 for the actual doormat. I got mine at Walmart and I've seen them in other places too. I've also bought them at Target. You just have to kind of shop around. And then I used just this exterior paint that I got from Walmart and I freehanded the name with a Sharpie, but you do not have to freehand. If you have uh, you know, a Cricut or a Silhouette, you could use a, a stencil or you could buy a stencil. You can also buy personalized stencils on Etsy. So that's another option. Um, just you know, be aware when you do that, that's gonna cut into your profit a little bit if you're aiming on selling these. So anyways, I think that this is a really great DIY, especially for gifts and for selling because you can really make a lot of money on these and people go crazy for these because you don't see them everywhere. Another super simple and inexpensive DIY that you can sell, gift, or keep if you want. Um, I've actually done all three with this, so I can say firsthand that this is the perfect DIY project. Um, you can easily make gifts with this and just buy some pillow inserts. I get mine from Walmart, they're very inexpensive, and give that as a gift, but um. I also recommend these for like craft shows, you know, if you want to sell them on your website and personalize them or, you know, advertise it on Facebook or Instagram or however that you choose to sell your crafts, these really sell well. So I do recommend these. So this pillow cover here, I actually purchased from Amazon. And because of the fabric, the Sharpie is bleeding through. Normally, I would just use the Sharpie and do the design and just go with it. And it makes it super fast and super easy. I got the canvas covers from Hobby Lobby and those you can just use Sharpie. So I definitely recommend those over these. But this is what I have on hand. So I'm just going over it with this Chalk Couture ink that I already had. You can also use the same kind of paint that I used for the doormat or fabric paint, just whatever you have on hand. love this project i buy these little wooden canvas boards from amazon and you can get them in like a big pack or you can buy them at walmart as well but they're very inexpensive and you can paint them you can stain them you know just whatever you want to do to get creative but these i decided i'm gonna just stain this and i'm making this adorable tray and let's face it, masks are probably here to stay for a while. So I figured this is a great idea and I think people are gonna really like it. So who doesn't want a place to put their keys, their wallet, their change, their mask, you know, when they walk in the door 
when you leave, then you just pick it back up and you know exactly where you left it. But these are very inexpensive. The only thing about these is just wait time between, you know, drying and um, the things that you have to do, like gluing things on and staining, you know, that takes time to dry. So that's the only thing. You have to be a little bit patient. So you may want to, you know, put the stain on or the paint on and then go do another project and come back to it. Um, another thing that I did not show here is after the stain dried in the tray, I did go through and put a, like two coats of sealer and I just used spray sealer. So it was super fast. I put a coat on it. I waited for a while and when it was dry, I put another coat. As you can see here, I did make vinyl words to go on here. I just used my silhouette and, um, printed them off and then I'm just going to attach them to the inside of the tray. You could also use like a white paint pen if you want to freehand it. Um, you can also go on Etsy and order vinyl decals. You know, just whatever you really enjoy, whatever is going to make you happy, whatever look you're going for is what you need to do. I've done it all the different ways. So I just say, you know, do whatever you want and it's going to turn out really cute. So as you can see here, there is a spot over on the side where they glued the frame on and it didn't take the stain. So I'm just using this jute rope and I'm going to glue it on with my hot glue and cover that up and it just really turned out cute like a little embellishment. So as you can see here, I have these little wood pieces. I actually got them at Walmart and I stained them the same color as I did the canvas. And then I'm just gonna glue them onto the bottom of the canvas to just create some height. And it just turns out so cute. I can't wait for you to see it when it's finished. have actually made for myself but I have sold these at craft shows and I always sell out of them um, these are so cute you can use them for different things but I really enjoy using for them for candles and it just creates a little height and just kind of decorates them up a little bit So as you can see, I'm staining all the pieces. I'm using more of those little wood pieces like I did on the other project. And I'm gonna glue them to the underside of these. And I'm also using a vinyl decal. You can actually just leave it plain. You don't have to put this on here. You could freehand a design with a paint pen. You know, just whatever you would prefer to do. Uh, I just really like this design on them. And I've actually painted these white and put black designs or black with white designs. And those are really cute too. But this is just something that I thought would be cute in my house. So that's the way I did it this time. And I love how cute it turned out. you guys but I love homemade bath products 
and I like bath bombs. I don't like how messy they are when you open them. So I decided to do just a little pouch of fizzy bath salts and the result is the same. It fizzes, it smells wonderful, and it leaves your skin feeling really soft. So the recipe that I use for this is one and a half cups of Epsom salts, one half cup of baking soda, one third cup of citric acid, and 40 to 50 drops of essential oils of your choice. Right now I'm using the hot chocolate scent and it smells so good. Just make sure you do this slowly so that you don't activate the fizz. So if you're planning on giving this away or selling it, make sure you include an ingredients list and label it somehow. I used vinyl and I think it turned out so cute. And then these bags and wooden spoons came from Amazon. They were really inexpensive and it just makes it look so much more refined and professional. pour a tiny bit into some water so you can hear this fizzy goodness. You can also put this into jars for a larger quantity and it also looks really professional. I hope you guys enjoyed this and got some inspiration for some DIYs that you can do whether you're looking for an inexpensive gift that looks high-end or you're wanting a high profit item to make and sell I hope you got some ideas please make sure you subscribe and also like this video it would help my channel out a lot and I will see you guys soon bye